Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As a part of Mission 470, India envisages to procure 470 indigenous fighter jets to boost its air power and at the same time achieve the self-reliance. The breakup of 470 fighter jets include 83 LCTS Mark 1A and their follow-on orders of 50 more for Indian Air Force. It also includes 108 LC Mark II and 126 AMC fighter jets. Indian Navy also has plans to induct 100 Ted BF fighter jets and this sums up to 467 fighter aircrafts. Now, multiple media reports quoting source from Ministry of Defense has reported that Rafal M is the front runner for 26 deck based fighter aircraft requirement of Indian Navy. Indian Navy has submitted its report of the trial evaluation of Rafal M and F-18 Super Hornet to Ministry of Defense. Rafal M has been chosen over F-18 as it is more suitable in meeting the operational criteria as well as the requirement. Now the ball is in the court of Ministry of Defense to decide and finalize the government-to-government -government deal on Navy's requirement of deck-based fighter aircraft. Now during Aero India 2023, the Air Marshal Naramdeshwar Tiwari Deputy Chief of Air Force has said that Air Force is hopeful of acceptance of necessity for MRFA in next three to four months. It is a budgetary decision and how fast aircraft are available. The acceptance of necessity will begin the formal procurement process following which Indian Air Force will issue the detailed RFP or request for proposal. If Indian Air Force also opt for Rafale as a part of its MRF requirement, the combined order of Rafale will be big for Dassault and will open opportunities to make them in India with more indigenously sourced components and developing the aerospace ecosystem. While the 26 MRC BF are being procured as a stop gap arrangement, TED BF is going to be the future backbone of Indian Navy's deck based fighter aircraft. Speaking on the sideline of Aero India, the Navy Chief Admiral R. Harikumar has said that they may get up to 45 TED BF by 2040. During Defence Expo 2022, AD has also reported that TED BF program can be executed in eight years after funding approval given from Cabinet Committee on Security. AD is expecting funding clearance from CCS by June 2023 and once it is approved, it will take another 4 to 4.5 years for rollout of the first prototype which means that the first prototype can be expected around 2028 and fighter aircraft can enter into production by the year 2032. As per the latest report from the New Indian Express, the Ministry of Defence is likely to clear a budget of Rs 14,000 crore for development of four prototypes of Ted BF. Now the funding sanction will determine the timeline of the aircraft rollout and the most important component in the prototype development is the Ironbird. Ironbird is a ground-based setup where system integration, reliability testing and shakedown testing of aircraft systems such as landing gear, avionics, hydraulics and flight controls takes place. It is like an open skeleton of aircraft where components of aircraft are arranged in almost similar layout as they will be in the final aircraft design but left accessible for ease of maintenance. Some ironbirds also include a flight deck so that testing can include pilot's input and simulated flight profiles and can be used in pre-flight pilot training. So in summary, it is a bird which cannot fly but can be used for testing many components of an aircraft on the ground and without this, no prototype can be developed. So ADA is already in process of building new ironbird facility for futuristic manned aircrafts which will be used to test the flight control systems for AMCA and LCA Air Force Mark II. As per our recent discussion with ADA, the process has reached an RFP stage and it's going to take around two years or maybe more to set up the Ironbird for LCA Mark II. However, there are no news on Ironbird for Ted BF. ADA would ideally need three Ironbirds for prototypes of LCA Mark II, AMCA and Ted BF.
One of the major observations from Aero India 2023 has been change in the design of TEDBF. The earlier design of TEDBF has showcased the unfolded wingspan of 11.2 meters and folded wingspan of 7.6 meter. As for the new specification, the unfolded wingspan is of 11.6 meter and folded wingspan is of 8.3 meter. The overall wingspan has been increased by 0.4 meter. The new wing area of TEDBF is now 53.5 square meters. Also, earlier the length of aircraft was reported to be 16.3 meter, which has been increased to 17 meters in the new specification. The height of aircraft is going to be 5.65 meters. So while there has been change in overall dimension and the new design shows that TEDBF will be a bigger aircraft, its maximum takeoff weight is going to be same, that is 26 tons with external stores of 7.5 tons where it can carry weapons and drop tanks. The aircraft will have 12 hardpoints. Another change observed in the specification was related to its flight altitude. The earlier specification showed that aircraft will have altitude of 60,000 feet, but the new specification states it to be 55,000 feet. The new design seems to be much more refined design of TEDBF incorporating the features of AMC and Rafale. Some visible changes are also noticeable in the nose cone and DSI intake which looks much better. Besides changes in specifications, few more details were shared about TEDBF fighter aircraft and these were that it will have network centric capability along with multi-sensor data fusion integrated with advanced sensor like an AAS radar, IRST, unified electronic warfare suite and missile approach warning system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.